Now, let's say you want to add to an aldehyde or a ketone, but you don't want to use lithium aluminum hydride or sodium borohydride. We actually have another option to us, and this is hydrogenation. So we have H2 on top of a metal pad with something like PT, or we have something like, I don't know, rainy nickel. Basically a metal catalyst to give us the dissociation of hydrogen for the react with this compound. What we're going to end up getting when we run this reaction is a pretty much racemic mixture. And I say pretty much because, yeah, you can kind of force it if one of the R groups is bulkier than the other. But generally speaking, we're going to end up with a racemic mixture of alcohols. So what's the advantage of using HTPO, H2P, and platinum or H2 and rainy nickel over something like lithium aluminum hydride or sodium borohydride? Well, the big one here is that this is not going to be aggressive enough to do something like a carboxylic acid, but it is going to do things like alkenes. So alkenes or alkynes present in your molecule are also going to react with the hydrogen platinum. This isn't true of the sodium borohydride or the lithium aluminum hydride. So this is an option for wanting to reduce aldehydes or ketones but can't be done in the presence of something like unsaturated, unsaturated hydrocarbons. But again, it's just kind of there to kind of add to your synthetic toolbox. Use this if you want to be selected towards the aldehydes and ketones, but do not use this method if you've got unsaturated hydrocarbons present in your compound and you don't want to react away with those double bonds.